Hey guys, for this video we're going to take a look at this K-Flow portable cordless electric coffee maker. Now they were nice enough to send me this item for free so I can make a video showing it to you. So let's check it out and brew some coffee. Now, this specific model is for coffee grounds, but they have three variations that are all on the same Amazon page. So whichever you prefer, ground coffee for me. I've been drinking coffee every single morning for over a decade, so big fan of the coffee. The K-Flow unit, again, it is cordless, so portable. You can take it with you anywhere you go. At the top here is your water reservoir. You see it is a max of 120 milliliters. That is about four ounces. I did the math because uh, we're in America where we do uh, ounces. So the front here, we have the power button. You press that once to turn the unit on. You would press it again to start brewing. It says each charge can brew 30 to 50 of these four ounce cups. So these three lights function as battery level indicators when you are charging. So when you have it plugged in, it'll let you know when it's fully charged. And if we spin it around to the back side, here is your charge port. It uses a USB-C, which is nice. You can plug it into a wall. Here's the cable it comes with with the USB end. Or any USB port, you can even charge it with a power bank. We even have instructions on the side. So if I mess it up, I have something to refer to. <laughs> so it does come with the cup you see at the bottom. And you also get a little coffee scoop. Here is your business portion where the coffee goes. So we're just going to unscrew these two. We have a metal filter basket it says to put in the coffee and tamp it down so we are going to brew us some coffee now one very important thing to know about this is it does not heat the water it just brews does not heat so you gotta put in hot water if you want hot coffee now if you like cold brew coffee a lot easier for you you don't have to do much else but if you like your coffee hot you got to heat it yourself time to get to brewing i have here my favorite coffee you see i have four full tubs because if pj doesn't have his coffee it's a bad day for everybody so here we have the maxwell house french roast we are going to get a scoop put it in our little metal container here I'm going to do one scoop and assume that that's about what it's good for, what it's meant for. Give it said tamp it down a little bit. We're doing a little, a little tamping. Okay. Tamp it down. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, Bigelow. Got it all tamped down. Drop it in there. Put the lid on. Make sure we get it nice and tight. Now this just slides on the bottom. Give it a little twist and you can hear it lock into place and we got it on the cup we're ready to go for that portion we need hot water four ounces of it got us some hot water don't be jealous of my cow now and we're going to fill it right up to that fill line Slap the lid on. Now it's time to brew. Okay, it's on. Give it a push. See the lights flashing here. Oh, oh. Ha <laughs> ha, we got coffee. We're making coffee. Quick. Now 
Now it should automatically shut off. And there it is. Take the top off. And one thing I hate is when the grounds get past the filter. We look up in the light. Oh, no grounds in the cup. That's what I wanted to see. Because I hate that. Now it only fills up a little less than half the cup, so we can add some cream and sugar. That's how we get down with the coffee. Now when I make my coffee, I use Truvia. I usually use one packet, but mine's like a 24 ounce cup. So we're only going to use like a quarter of the bag or something. Yeah, it feels about right. Save the other packet for the next cup. Next we need some Coffee Mate French Vanilla Creamer. Where does it say French Vanilla? It says it somewhere. Right up top. French Vanilla Creamer. Now, this will be hard to judge too. Yeah, shake it first. Oh yeah, give it a little shake. Okay, now, I don't know how much we're going to need here, but just give it a little, little splash. A little splash. That might have been too much of a splash for a little cup. That, that, it's possible that was too much. Let's just give it a little swirly swirl. That was too much. Don't do as much as I did. But you'll be okay. Gotta get your portions right. Oh yeah, that's good coffee. I'm going to finish this cup and I'll get back to you. There it is. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.